Hello, I'm Jasmine Sweetfinger, and in this episode of Grand Designs, we go east to the Persian Empire, the largest empire in the world. We meet Nehemiah, one of the most trusted men in the empire, and find out about his grand design and his quite unusual goals. <laughs> to build his old family home. His aim is to rebuild the whole town wall of a small rural place called Jerusalem, 720 kilometers west of Babylon. He has a budget approved by the emperor, as much wood as he needs from the king's forests, a whole army of soldiers, and permission to rebuild Jerusalem. Let's go meet him. So Nehemiah, what inspired you to embark on this grand design? Is it a lifelong ambition, a desire to build yourself a legacy, or to make a nice retirement home for yourself? No, not really. Uh, God told me to, so I thought about it, gathered up the courage to do it, went to speak to Emperor Antaxerxes. Luckily, because it was God's plan, he said I could do it, but he could have had me killed. That wouldn't have been good. Uh, oh, um, well, do you have a history of architecture in your family? A good project management background, or just a competent carpenter, perhaps? I'm the uh, Emperor's cupbearer, so yeah, I sort of bring him a drink when he's thirsty, and well, that's it. <laughs> I bet with all these boulders around, you can make some fantastic cups of tea. Oh, poor joke, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, how do you know to build the walls? I don't. God tells me how to. I tell the builders how to. They do it. It's worked so far, so I'm sticking with that one. Great, uh, fantastic. Well, thanks, Nehemiah, and good luck with the walls. I'm with one of the builders who is working on the wall to see what she thinks of the mad project. Actually, I'm an accountant, but I'm just doing my bit. Ah, so sorry. So, how is the build going for you? Okay, thanks. What's it like working for a man like Nehemiah? Oh, he's a good second command. He's friendly and he knows exactly what the build needs. Sorry, second in command? Do I sense a domineering wife on the side really running the whole business? No, we're doing it for God. This city's in ruins in the moment and making him look bad. If it'll soon be sorted out. It must be easier having God as a manager. No one to argue about the colour of the wallpaper or the size of the TV. No, not really. We just try to give God the best. That's what he deserves. Uh, right, so have there been any objections from the locals? We've had a few moans and stuff, but we carry our weapons just to keep safe. Oh, right, I'll, I'll just let you get on with your job then, yeah? Well, we leave Nehemiah and his builders up against it, the wall that is. Will they overcome the unfriendly neighbours, the lack of skilled labourers, and the scorching sunshine? They think they will, because God's on their side. Interesting strategy, let's see how that works out. <laughs> This episode is a young lad from Pisa looking to make a hit with the tower. We help him with the foundations.